Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm Jody from Jed's Equine. For those of you that are new here and the rest of you, welcome back. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you will already know what's happened and what this vlog is about. For those of you that don't and haven't watched previous vlogs of mine, or maybe you have, Jet is my main horse. So he was competing at one star. Before coronavirus, he was about to step up to two star eventing. It was all very exciting. He's a very tricky horse to fit saddles to. And in the past, we've had real trouble, especially with jump saddles. So we had a custom saddle made especially for him. But unfortunately, I think we just have run out of time, basically. And for whatever reason, we got to a point where Jet just wasn't happy jumping. He could work in his flat work saddle and work, you know, just on the flat. But when we went jumping... We just got to a stage where he wasn't right. And then he got really unhappy after the jumps and was tearing off being a lunatic. He injured himself and he wouldn't canter and he was really saying no. And he was also bucking, which <clears throat> Jet is the sweetest horse in the world. He does not buck. And I really know there's something wrong. If he is being naughty or he is bucking, it's just not. There's something up. Anyway, long story short, we x-rayed his back and unfortunately Jet had kissing spine. So along the top of the back, there are these little sort of shark fins. If they are too close, then they're what's known as impinging. Now between the vertebrae and between these shark fins, there are ligaments and soft tissue. So you imagine if they're close on an x-ray, they're squishing all sorts of things. And you imagine if your back was like grinding on each other, like that's pretty painful. And horses are meant to have really flexible backs, really lift them up, work over the back if they're doing flat work and jumping with a huge bascule. So we actually put local anesthetic into Jet's back to assess whether the behavior changed. And yeah, no one could argue with it. It went from bucking Jet to Jet would canter. And then we put the jump saddle on, which I was a little bit nervous about. And I jumped and I thought, right, that's it. There's no, there's no way out of this. So we booked Jenny in for surgery and that is what this vlog is about. It is a bit gory. So I've got to be a bit careful what I show because some people want to watch the vlog, but they don't want to be like freaked out. So I'll probably put noise over the noise, noise over the noise, noise over the sound. I don't know. And, um, yeah. So by the time this comes out, Jenny will be out of hospital. Jenny's here. He is home. He is very happy to be home. And I really hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm not going to go super into kissing spines in this video. This is just Jet's journey and the start of Jet's journey. So there's going to be a really, really long rehab. So I am going to do a video on kissing spine at a later date, probably maybe the next video. And in that, I will talk a little bit more about what it is, perhaps what symptoms, how we diagnose it, what the treatment options are, et cetera, et cetera, because everyone is so interested in that. And I got so many messages on Instagram and I will cover all those things. You will get to see a little bit how the surgery works. If you have further or more specific questions that you want me to cover in the kissing spine uh, video that I'm going to do, then please comment below and I will try and get to those. Okay, so let's get into that vlog.
got to get the horses off. I'm going to try and not be embarrassed vlogging. There's loads of people around. So anyway, I want to try and get as much as I can. Sorry if it's a bit rubbish. I'm going to re-x-ray. Oh, Christ. So this is Rochelle. Rochelle. <laughs> Rochelle is an inventor and she is also a vet nurse. So Harry's just going to explain. So today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be operating on, uh, he says, kissing spine across his back. So a, in a normal back, they normally have spaces between these vertebrae um, that we see through here, and this is the, the upper limit of the vertebrae, um, we call the dorsal spines processes. So what we're going to be doing, um, there's a ligament that runs between these, and as horses' uh, backs degenerate, these ligaments actually start to compress and degenerate themselves and cause a lot of inflammation. So we're going to go ahead and remove a small portion of the bone through here and then actually cut the ligament underneath um, on all of these processes. So uh, instead of having um, this normal kind of curve up towards the front, we're actually going to turn these into little triangles and then open up the space between there so that the back can move naturally. And as the rider um, basically sits on the back of the horse, this bone, the idea is that this bone won't be compressing onto itself and causing pain um, and that will have um, some release across the back. Does that make sense to you? That, that's fantastic. Thanks, Harry. And so how many spaces are we doing today? So I think we're going to be doing five spaces, eight, possibly six. Um, we'll just see how this starts to open up. Um, and do you, do you sometimes find once you get in there, you can tell a bit differently? Yeah, so once we get in there, and, and unfortunately, um, it's more often than not, the x-rays look better um, than that the actual space does. So once yeah. we get in there in surgery and have this opened up, we, we often find that there's actually less space down between these uh, vertebrae and what there actually looks to be on the x-ray. Mm. So sometimes these are actually fused together um, and you actually have to cut the ligament itself is actually very, very fibrous and doesn't feel like there's any space between the bone. Yeah, all. okay. All right. So this is Dr. Margot and she, what are you doing there, Margot? Just walking his back. We'll just yeah. block his skin and then we'll block the sights because he's a little... So sick. what do you mean by block? Oh, we're just putting in local anesthetic, like if you go to a dentist. Oh yeah? Take I haven't been to one of those for a while. <laughs> and yeah, just so we can't feel it and we can do an understanding and sedation. So you shouldn't feel anything, he'll be sedated and have lots of local in. Yeah. And we're just using a teeny tiny needle because Jet's a bit sensitive to being cold. That's really important, Harry. Glad you're fueling up. When you're an equine surgeon, you have to really look the part. This is apparently the part. It's quite scary, really, isn't it? Yeah. Should I be trusting you, Harry? No, I probably wouldn't. Oh, yeah. You don't like going into, like, I would, trust, I would trust Margo. She's much more trustworthy. COVID-19 ward. So I do have a serious question for you guys about surgery. Mm -hmm. Do I need to go on a diet now as he's going to have less bone to hold me up? No body positivity is here. We are body positivity split. You do not need to lose weight. No losing weight. Just get stronger back muscles, Jeff. Just do some Pilates or something. Oh, so she's right. No dieting, but you need to work out. <laughs> I got that. I got that message. Thanks. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs>
see the anesthetist. So Harry, what are you doing at the moment? Uh, so we're just cleaning out the space um, that we've left having taken out the top of the spine process. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and cut um, the point of the spine process off, um, basically sealed over the top, and that's where the water pressure and jamming. Um, and then so, um, and then we've gone ahead now and we've opened up the space um, to allow more space uh, between the For Some of them you had a bit of trouble yeah, so one of them was fused to the other, other bone, um, which we had to get the pry open and um, cut away. Uh, but we haven't had to remove any processes yet. Occasionally we have to remove the whole process uh, because it's all stuck to the other one. Um, but we are uh, making some progress here. We've got a couple more to go. We're almost done. Are you guys like in a race? I think Harry's winning. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice, Jordy. I know, but that makes me think you're doing it to a better standard. Harry, can you slow down, Harry, please? Harry, Harry. Yeah, yeah, this needs oh, to be, shit, I'm in. <laughs> this needs to be, you know, good, not just fast. Mine are closer together and neater. It's not about speed, Harry, you should know that. Yeah, for someone in second place, then. <laughs> No one's even with the horse. <laughs> Wait, there they are. <laughs> this is such a calming surgery. Oh, Jack. So that gets changed in two days. Two days, yeah. <laughs> Looks like there's a body on it. <laughs> Dr. Harry is now gonna go through the before and the after x-rays and explain the difference. So this is just a, um, a before x-ray that we took as we were getting ready for the surgery. And what you can see um, between the bones is this gap between these bones is very, very close. So there's the normal gap and then right between them, all very, very close. So that's before we operated on. So what we're gonna do in surgery, what we did in surgery is we took off Front of these pieces of bone and we freed up all the space between these to allow the back to bend the way it normally should. Uh, if we go here to the last image, um, this is all afterwards, you can see uh, that what's happened is that the x-rays have gone from being a normal um, curved appearance to being a pointed appearance, but that means that there's now space between these um, vertebrae for the back to bend the way it normally should. Go on, Jenny. Good boy. A little bit drunk, a little bit drunk. Poor buddy, wee. So he never gets looked at when he's kicking in pain. Poor <laughs> buddy. Oh, no, he's got his little ears forward. You got something red sticking on your bum. You? Hey, what it? Oh, it must be a bit of bloody swab. There's still, there's still some there. Oh, I've never been around here. Oh, well, I probably can't put other people's horses on. I'll try and like not get other horses. There we go. Oh, look how cool this is. Who knew this was all? So Jetty has finished his surgery. He's recovered, he's waking up, so he's having some hay. And this is his crib for a couple of nights. So he's gonna stay at Westfords because we ended up having to do six spaces, which is quite a lot. So he's gonna stay here until they have to change all this, make sure he's doing okay and then I'll come pick him up on Thursday. Gonna miss him. Hey, Jetty, what do you reckon? Aww. I hope he'll be okay. Oh, my baby. Home, finally, done the horses. I'm in, I'm absolutely shattered. 
the house is a tip. I've had a really lovely little uh, video from Rochelle, the nurse, to say that Jet's eating his dinner, and that's very nice. I'm heating up some bolognese, and I'm gonna shower, have some bolognese, and go to bed. I am busted, and I'm glad that tomorrow I'm home, and I've got lots of horses to catch up on. I've got Emily coming to acupuncture funk, I can't speak, acupuncture foxy. Somebody coming to pick up my eye walk, that's a leg doodle. Uh, two more horses being dropped off. It's just, <sighs> so I really need a good night's sleep. Thanks guys for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, of course, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So you don't miss any future videos. We've got lots of these problem horse videos coming up and case studies. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully maybe some more interesting vlogs, not really sure. But yeah, please hit the subscribe, turn on the alerts and I will see you guys ASAP.